Okay, so you know, we were just driving along the mountainside in this car and we're like, you know, we're in San Francisco, we have the beautiful ocean, we have these beautiful roads, and you know, the shopping town's nice. It's good, it's nice for, you know, driving around, but see this guy right here? This is what we need to look at, we need something more like exciting like that. So then we're like, oh, what should we do, what should we do, what should we do, and Chevy, 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 and then, oh, Corvette, and like, that's what we did. So, hello. Here's a Chevy Corvette, and we decided to get one uh, and drive it on the mountain roads, and that's what we're doing. So, OMG, it's so great. It is really fantastic. It is like my second favorite car I've ever driven, and those of you who know us, the only car that's really better, depending on where you're at, is the Porsche 911, but of course this costs like half of that, so this is almost a better car, you could say, depending on how you look at it. But anyway, it's great. Hello. Four, four exhausts, four humongous exhaust pipes. These two have baffling in them, and when you put it in sport or sport track mode or whatever that mode is called, they open up and it goes even louder than normal. Okay, so that's what that's like. And then the back, it just, it's great. I like it so much more on the old Corvette. It's so much better than the old Corvette. It's so much better. Anyway, coming along the side, we have these really, really extraordinarily shiny wheels. And let's see, I think these are 19 inch. They're 19 inch wheels. We're like handle yeah, Of course, no real handle pulled, very nice. Stingray, great, that's fantastic. It looks amazing. Front headlamps, nice LEDs and all that stuff. So, it's great. Hello, hood opens from the back to the front instead of the front to the back, so that's kind of interesting. So, you know, it's great to hear about and look at it, but you know, let's take it for a drive, shall we? All right, so inside, thank God, they finally updated the Corvette to meet the standard of what a Corvette should be like. Inside, great, great, great interior very nice the whole entire dashboard is covered in leather that is stitched i mean how awesome is that we have this nice it's all leather nice trim aluminum metal nice buttons heated and cooled seats for the passenger with their own air control both sound system will bl literally blow you out of the car um great navigation screen system over here it's the new system very responsive it's great we have um air controls and all that right there. Corvette Stingray logo, all the, you know, normal driving things that you'd expect. Push to start, keyless entry. Coming down here, we have one very important button, mode select. We have the weather mode, which is normally starts out in second gear, very dialed back, you know, to, for uh, most traction in bad weather. Then we have the eco mode, which I use when we're driving in the city in this car. Not a fun car to drive in the city, though, I will tell you that much. Um, then we have the touring mode, then we have the sport mode, and then we have the sport track mode. Sport and sport track mode open up the baffles and the exhaust to make that loud noise for ultimate airflow. And that's what boosts our horsepower to, I believe, right around 460 horsepower for, for 60 torque, something right in there. This is not car review, it's a car quick look on our journey, so please forgive me if I'm off by 10 horsepower or 10 torque on the vehicle. So. Anyway, you can look it up if you really want to know exactly. So, we're going to start by driving. I'll give you some quick driving impressions of this car. Let's finally get out and make it out of the road here. Okay. We have a touring mode right now. It's The steering wheel is quite uh, easy to turn. Very easy, very drivable in everyday situations, quite honestly. And the front sits high enough so that when you're going over bumps or going in inclines, it's not hitting, it's not scraping, you don't have to be worried about it, so that's very nice. We're on an extremely curvy road here that uh, is very hilly, very curvy, and very narrow. And this car, as you probably know, is extraordinarily wide. So, um, it's a little bit, uh, it's a very, I'm trying to think of the right word here, it's a very interactive car to be driving in situations like this. You have to really pay attention. It's not like driving a little Porsche that's ultra thin and short. This car is long and this car is very wide, but it's still very fun to drive. Of 
course in here. We have a humongous curve right here. Whoa, we're gonna pull a half a G on this turn. Pulled one, we pulled, we pulled 0.51 turning radius G there. So that's great. Um, touring mode right now, acceleration, oh my gosh. Like max that 460 torque hits in around 4,000 RPMs. <laughs> so you are just like blasting off to the moon when you hit the gas on this car. Like nothing I've ever experienced before. And the Porsche, you know, the power is very responsive and it's somewhat laid back. This car, like you hit the gas all the way to the floor and you are just like, it's like you're just gone. It's an entirely different experience. Both the cars are um, very similar in how fast they are as far as numbers go, but there's entirely different animals and how they perform that speed and how they, they lay the power down on the ground. Anyway, we're going to switch it up here to the sport mode. And in order for those baffles to work, you have to hit over 2,000 RPMs. And we haven't been doing that much lately in this car, so there we go. There we go. about it, I said it honestly. Um, it drives flawlessly and it, its looks are jaw-dropping. So with all those three things combined, this is truly one of the most perfect sports cars that has ever been made and it's affordable. So again, this is the 3LT. It has every option that you could possibly get on the Corvette without being in some, uh, some other new level of Corvette that they're making. So great car and that will keep you updated as always and we hope you enjoyed this quick little overview of the Corvette.